Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And today we're gonna check out a software update that just came for our white Model 3, and that is 2020.12.1. So some of my more hardcore All Electric fans are gonna notice that I did not do a 2020.12 update and that is because the release notes were identical to this release notes here. I only did a 2020.8.1. Now although the release notes don't show anything, there are some hidden items within this update. Third Row Tesla Podcast recently said that the next autopilot update will stop automatically at red lights and stop signs. I did test that today and found that it was not included in this 12.1, but it was included in 12.1.1. And that extra one was for the early access program. So only to those people. Now, third row Tesla podcast did tweet out that 12.1 does not have the automatic stopping. But he did give us a hint of something that was included with 12.1 in answering this question saying stop in the name of love. Because now in 12.1, all the stop signs that are rendered on the center display actually show stop. But again, I've done extensive testing in 12.1 and there is no automatic stopping at stop signs or stop lights yet that's reserved for 12.1.1, the early access program. After my car was updated today, I did have some time to test the autopilot on this new software update 2020.12.1 and I didn't notice any huge improvements and there definitely wasn't any phantom braking like some people had said that they had in 2020.12. On this road, I am still able to engage autopilot over a short section that has lane markings, and then the rest of the road doesn't have any lane markings. And I would say that it performs pretty well. I was following a car that was going abnormally slow on this road, but I will say something that we saw several software updates ago, 2020.12.1 is doing the exact same thing where it's hugging the correct side of the road. So you see here, there's no lane markings, but the autopilot system is smart enough to realize and probably helps that it's following a car here, but it's smart enough to realize that it needs to be on the right side of this road here versus in the middle of the road. And you can see here the blue lines on the center display actually showing that the road is split. So the it is smart enough to realize that it is not need to take up the entire road and there is potentially two lanes of traffic here. Now it does jump over here to that white line just briefly before it realizes that that is a turn lane. So now what's really interesting is we come up here to this red, this traffic light here that is green when I pass through it and then turns yellow and then red. But you can see that I get a warning message take over immediately. So you can tell even with 2020.12.1, we have some work to do and it is not ready for city streets. Now that reminds me, I did take this on the intersection test where it always fails going through an intersection and I was impressed because it did a great job even at night where it has struggled before. If you haven't seen that playlist, I will put a card up here in the corner. So that is it for this newest software update. A big thank you goes out to our Grandma Tool and Nicola Pro supporting this channel at the all electric tier. If you wanna support this channel, head over to Patreon, there's a link below. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share this video with a friend, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one.